Hey, good morning. Important information I really need to get out to you, especially this headline, Grocery Stores Ban the Unjobbed. But before we get into that, I really want everyone to understand what's going on. So first I want to say, oh boy, oh Canada, what is going on over there? But we'll get that back to that in just a minute. First you need to listen to, of course, von der Leyen saying this is the last global pandemic. The spirit of collective action is the only true robust answer to fight this pandemic and to fight future pandemics. We started some of that work at the G20 Global Health Summit in May, where the world's major economies vowed to work together to make this the last global pandemic. And with the Rome Declaration signed on that day, we committed to learning the lessons from this pandemic and to be better prepared for the future. Thank you, Ms. von der Leyen, for reminding of these things. Uh, the spirit you were under when you were signing these. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is the former name. It is now Lucius Trust, not Lucifer. We know exactly who you are, and you need to read the Rome Declaration. I'll add the link for you to understand exactly who they are and what they're talking about. But she mentions numbers. Oh, yes, she does. Yes, she says, let's look at the numbers. At four, let's go take a look. If you look at the numbers, we have now 77% of the adults in the European Union vaccinated, or if you take the whole population, it's 66%. And this means one third of the European population is not vaccinated. These are 150 million people. This is a lot. And not each and every one can be vaccinated, so not each and every one can be vaccinated, so, so there are very small children, for example, or people with special medical conditions, but the vast majority could. And therefore, I think um, it is understandable and appropriate to lead this discussion now, um, how we can encourage and potentially think about mandatory vaccination um, within the European Union. This needs discussion. How we can encourage and potentially think about mandatory vaccination. This needs discussion. This needs um, a common approach, but it is a discussion that I think has to be led. So, did you hear her? It's unbelievable. I cannot believe this. And of course, she's showing this with all her numbers. You saw the numbers, 77, 66, one-third, which is 33, and 15. I'm surprised the 13 wasn't in there, but oh, yes, it is when you just take the one and the three, right? Ah, yes. There's you, there you have it. You're 77. They love that number because of their pillars that you know they put the numbers it's many reasons i'm just saying they love the sixes they love their 13s and their 33s 13 equals m by the way for mason in case someone's wondering and of course they love the 15 because of the square of saturn hey look i'm just showing you what i'm seeing but let's just keep moving because you need to understand exactly what they're saying right here they are basically abolishing the nuremberg codes the trials, did they not mean anything? So we're going to go back all the way to that time. And then in another separate video, listen to what she says and look at her hand signs as she's saying this. And before I go in depth on uh, what Omicron means, I want to thank South Africa, really commend them on their transparency, the speed with which they have informed us. They are, we know that, brilliant what tracing and mainly sequencing is concerned. They are, we know that, brilliant what tracing and mainly sequencing is concerned. What hand signs, don't you say? I mean, and then she goes on to talk about, of course, the brilliancy of having all the things that they have today, masks, contact tracing, and so much more. You can listen. But now I want to get to the meat of this. The Canadian New Brunswick moves to ban the unjabbed from grocery stores. I saw this on many fish, and I just had to share, and I can only share a bit, so please go watch. Let's go.
All right, just in case if you were unable to see that on your phone, it's a winter action plan. No job, no food, no getting into the grocery stores. That's right. And I recall something, the calm before the storm back in 2017. Maybe somebody remembers even Biden talking about a dark winter. Yeah, or a very dark winter by Fauci. But hey, I'm just saying they've already had this plan and created a pandemic war game that they also took on. But we understand what is ahead. I hope you can see this. And together with our partners, we will do everything needed to overcome this pandemic and to be better prepared for the future, she says in in that other video. Look, we know who they are, who they're connected with, who all their partners are. They're all one. They are the brotherhood. And I'm not saying this to cause fear. Absolutely not. They are doing that. They, on the media, they are doing that. I am asking you to really think about what is going on right here. No buying or selling without having that passport. Man, man, I don't know what else to say, but the mark of the beast also has to do with worship. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, worship, worship, who is everyone worshiping? Could it be something like this? Oh man, I hope you trust in the Lord and worship him alone. Do not trust, put your trust in men. And so pastors, all those who supported the masks and the jabs and more, presidents and medical leaders, I ask you, what exactly are you going to say now? You promoted this. You encouraged this for everyone to go and take this and didn't stop anyone. And I hope you really right now step back and you repent. Repent today. Or I'm not sure what you think right now, but I really hope that you're awake and you're seeing all of this and you're understanding the truth in all of this. And I hope the pastors really turn right now. You're going to see right now who is really following God. Who is going to show you the way to the narrow path or keep you on the wide path. If they haven't turned at this point, I really don't think they will. But this is their time to turn and really direct the people. Test everything. Hold on to what is good and reject every kind of evil. That's all I'm saying. I'll add all the links. Insane times to be seeing this. I honestly cannot believe it. Get right with God today. God bless you guys. Have a great day.